Well, 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 another scandal is hitting Nicola Sturgeon's SMP government. The SMP government have released hundreds of criminals from jail and they say, well, it was accidental. Oops, we're sorry. The level of incompetence with this government is reaching a whole new level and it's getting to a very, very concerning point now because we've been talking about the, the issue with the, the SMP being in charge when it comes to the education, when it comes to the sector, when it comes to healthcare and all the other areas, overall safety. This is about the higher level of risk when it comes to public safety. The SMP have already admitted that hundreds of these prisoners have been given an incorrect public risk assessment. So it was a bit of a glitch. There was a bit of an error. And they continued to do it. And it went for a long time. And then they're, they're now saying, oops, we did it again. But they have an excuse. And they are also trying to justify it, saying, well, it's not too bad, is it? Let's just chill. And uh, in 537 of these cases, there were more than a thousand cases overall in terms of the assessments uh, recently. An override was applied by social workers based on professional judgment. And then they say they're leaving 495 of these cases which appear to contain a risk level affected by the system error. So about 500 of them, you know, it's a bit of an error. Fine, cool. There's a glitch. But why is it that you now come out, uh, the head of this, uh, the whole group, uh, saying that, well, let's just clarify that in the, the, the 150 of the open cases investigated so far, it has been found that there is no evidence of any public protection risk as a result of this system issue. Now, every, everybody just calm down. Everything is fine. But you do realize it's not just about the risk to public safety. That's one massive problem. It is just exposing the incompetence and the arrogance and the reluctance when it comes to any sort of change that this uh, Scottish government need to have. This is why people are getting sick and tired. But because the whole area is essentially a one-party state, there is no, like, there's no hope right now to see the Scottish Tories or the Scottish Labour Party uh, winning uh, the, uh, Scotland in terms of the actual administration. It's just going to be SNP all over again. And this is a sad part. This is not the first time we've seen incompetence from the Scottish government. We, we remember about um, a year ago, uh, not even a year ago, it was only a few months ago actually, in November, uh, Nicola Surgeon, uh, they, they found out that basically a lot of prisoners are getting their illegal drugs back. And it's, it's a loophole that, you know, the, the, people who are free in society, in Scotland, for example, they have more restrictions. I mean, exaggeration, but there are more restrictions. They can't even have actual free speech to, at dinner table because the police could come and arrest them. Uh, yet, prisoners could find loopholes to have less, uh, fewer restrictions. One of them is getting the drugs back. And the surgeon was like, okay, sure. I'm going to have a look at this loophole. I'm going to close it. We're still waiting, Nicola. We're still waiting for you to close all these loopholes. And now it's about your future and also the future of public safety in Scotland. If you, if you could do me a favor, share this video with everybody so people actually know we need to raise public awareness with this news story. It's not really getting much coverage in the mainstream media. That would be absolutely amazing. Subscribe to the channel. Amaya TC and we are the media.